What's going on, guys? It is Aqua's back in the fantastic world of Minecraft. And in today's video, we're going to be finishing it off the roof, and then that's probably what we're going to stop with on working on the house for now. Um, there's some things that I want to do around the house, like not in it, but like around it. Um, I want to go mining and stuff like that. I want to go adventuring, but for now, we need to finish the bedroom and stuff like that. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, hopefully this is, doesn't take forever, um, but I guess we'll just find out. So, I know that I haven't really been uploading a whole lot of, uh, League of Legends videos, and I know that the Minecraft, the guys that watch my Minecraft series, they don't really mind, obviously they're here for the Minecraft series, they don't really care about the League series. Um, just know that it's like whenever I post a video on League, it's not because I don't want to play Minecraft, it's, uh, because I just felt like... Well, I guess it is because I didn't really feel like playing Minecraft. It's because I didn't really feel like record, like recording Minecraft. Because getting, like, recording Minecraft gets old really quick. Because, um, you know, it's sort of the same thing over and over again. Minecraft is pretty much the same. It's, it's, it's Minecraft is pretty much the same thing over and over again. And League, you know, different things could happen in each video. Like, it, you never know what's going to happen in when you when you press record I know exactly what's gonna happen for me when I press record though because uh, when I play a league I go from being extremely good at league to the point where I press record and then I just instantly get bad like I don't know what it is I'm good until I press record and then uh, the skills take a turn for the worse I don't know why that is um, it's kinda weird but don't really know and why does it seem like it's always dark in these videos? Like, I'm always sleeping in these videos. Um, so there's actually some stuff that I wanted to talk about, like uh, some stuff that happened to me today. Nothing really bad, nothing really too exciting, but I figured, hey, I could tie this into a video. The video might be uh, a little bit better if I put this in the video. And I keep putting my hands in the QWER, which is the... Uh, which is your abilities for League of Legends instead of the WASD, which is what you use to move in first-person games and stuff like that on PC. So uh, should really get that sorted. Um, but I've been over this in a couple of, couple of times in different videos. Is that uh, I I go to high school. Um, obviously, I'm still in high school. I get up in the morning. I go to my high school, I'm there for three class periods that last about 45 minutes each. And then from there I go to a different school and I'm there till 2.15 and I get off the bus and I come home. Or I get on a bus and then I'm, I'm, I ride the bus back to my home school and then from my home school I go home and then that's when I start making videos and stuff like that. And um, Today, or tomorrow, we're supposed to have a, uh, a test on uh, the chapter that we've been studying, chapter three. Uh, no big deal. I know computers pretty well. Uh, I've been studying them for quite some time now. Uh, I, and I already knew quite a bit about computers going into the class, but I just keep learning more. Um, I just drop my axe and I have no idea where it is. My me axe just disappeared. What? Uh. Do you guys see it anywhere? I don't. Oh, what? How did it? Okay. I'm just gonna ignore that, and we're gonna move on. So today, or I'm a first year student, which means that I've only been there for a, for the first year. Obviously, like this is my first year there. And then there's the second year students that have been there for for two years. Um, so me not being there for that long, I shouldn't know as much as I do, but I know quite a bit. Um, but basically what happens is that the, is the first year students, we have completely separate projects compared to the second year students. Like we do different things every day. Um, the second years do different things every day as well and we just go from there um but sometimes the second years and the first years have to work together to get a project done like 
a first like a first year could you needs a second year's like advice or help to get their project done or a first year needs the same thing um or the or the second year just wants to challenge the first year to see if they've been learning anything and uh, last thursday uh at the school my actual instructor wasn't there uh we had a substitute teacher that day and obviously substitute teachers at least in my school district are completely useless they don't know anything they shouldn't even be qualified to be considered a substitute teacher because they don't know how to teach anything a substitute teacher is you know self-explanatory they're a substitute for your teacher until your actual teacher gets back which means that a substitute teacher should know how to teach the subject that they're subbing for but in most cases where I live um, the substitute teachers are basically babysitters until the actual teacher gets back um, which I don't agree with but I don't really have a whole say in the matter so the substitute teacher that we had news knows nothing about computers as far as I'm aware she only knows how to point and click uh, which basically which means she only you know she only knows how to use a mouse and keyboard um, so on Thursday, I spent pretty much the entire class period trying to fix a computer that wasn't working. A second year and I were changing out graphics cards, taking it apart. I took it apart two or three times and tried replacing graphics cards to see if we could get it to work. Still wasn't working. Um, stuff like that. So today I was working. Uh, after we went over some review stuff and computer still doesn't work so I take it all apart take the motherboard out take the graphics cards out take pretty much everything out that I can to, to try and get it to work and it's still not working so that's pretty much what I did today is I I failed <laughs> um, we just don't know what's wrong with the computer. Uh, we don't know if it's the motherboard. We don't know if it's the power supply, which I'm pretty sure it's not the power supply because the power supply works pretty. I mean, if it turns on, if the computer turns on with the power supply, then it should, then it's probably working fine. But um, we don't know. So after the, after I take my test tomorrow, I'm going to try and reassemble the computer with a different motherboard. Um, that we have in the back. I'm hoping that we have a different motherboard in the back because if we don't, then I'm screwed because you know, obviously we don't have another motherboard so I there's no way that I could replace it but uh, as long as we do then everything should work out smoothly hopefully I'll be able to get the computer fixed but like during the day my teacher actually walked up to me and says that he needs two working computers we already have one working computer because I fixed it um, the other day but now but he needs two and we only have one so we're screwed basically uh, so tomorrow I'm gonna have to try my best to get the uh, computer fixed if, it, if I can't get it fixed then I don't know um, we'll just have to see from there um, yeah so that's pretty much what happened to me today Any, anybody want to uh, leave in the comment section what happened to them today no okay um, don't really know what I'm doing here I'm just adding torches to light up the area. Um, there's supposed to be a block here, I think. We'll do that. One there, one there, and one there. So now everything looks a little, little bit better. Less symmetric, or uh, le yeah, I guess less. Well, not less symmetrical, but it just looks, you know, it looks cooler, nicer design, stuff like that. We can put torches there, and torches there to make the room brighter mm, I don't know why there's a torch there I wish you could put torches like on on the same block but you can't sadly so that sucks but what we can do is maybe that and then we can get rid of these torches here Yeah, that looks okay. Could could look better, but that's fine for now. And we're just gonna need to put a torch here, so everything's lit up nice and brightly. 
I think that's good. We'll put a block here, I think, in front of the window. There, it looks good. All right, bedroom finished. Now, there's not going to be a doorway here because this is all going to be closed off. Um, I just haven't figured out how I'm going to close it off yet. Um, obviously, we're going to need windows first. Uh, so I need to go check to see if I have any glass or if, if I have any glass or if I have any sand if I have sand and glass And we might be able to actually finish the bedroom 100% today If not, then we're probably just gonna go mining and we'll go from there in the next episode uh, Nope that needs to go with me So it doesn't look like we have any more sand so maybe we could go adventuring for some sand I think that would be decent uh so we've got our map we can just go ahead and put the wood every all the wood in there i'm gonna go ahead and keep a stack on me and i'll keep some dirt on me as well um even though i'm not gonna need it sword oh throwing stuff Uh, okay, so that can stay here. We're going to need that, that, and that. All right, we're going to go this way. We're going to try and find some sand. So I guess this would count as our first actual adventure in this world. Now, keep in mind, the chunks, we're not going to be able to see very, very far because I don't have a chunk rendering on. Uh, chunks don't render... Uh, only six chunks, I should say, render at a time. Um, I did go adventuring at one point around this area, and I thought that I did see a beach, but I'm not entirely sure. So there's going to be quite a bit of lag here. In a mo I knew that there was sand around here somewhere. The only issue is it's near lava, and lava's... We're just going to go ahead and go around. So hey, uh, that was pretty easy. Am I right? We already found sand, unless this is like some... Nope, that's sand. Alright, hey, we found sand already. Sweet. So now we can have all the glass in the world. This sand is like... It's like a desert biome and a ra and like a regular biome like combined with each other and it's all screwed up. Um, it's actually getting dark, uh, so you guys aren't going to be able to see very well. Um, unless I turn my brightness up. Let me see if I can do that. Video... I don't think I can. Nope. No. Can't turn the brightness up. So, looks like you guys are going to be staring into darkness. And that sandstone. Actually, I want to take that with. Sandstone is nice. It doesn't really look all that good on this texture pack, but... I'm probably going to switch out the texture packs every now and then. Like, I think... In this episode, I was actually thinking about switching back to the original texture pack instead of using this uh i don't like i like this texture pack i just don't like it as much as i like deco craft uh, or duco craft uh deco craft was a really 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 good looking texture pack and it sucks because they can't use it because uh it's an outdated texture pack uh the creator of that texture pack doesn't update it anymore um so every time minecraft updates that texture pack is just going to stay the same but uh you know what you know what I don't care. We're going to save and quit, and we're going to change the uh, resource pack, because this um, this resource pack looks so much nicer than... Um... Yeah, that's fine. Um, this texture pack looks so much nicer, and you'll see here in about two seconds, maybe, probably. Yep. So the main menu kind of looks a little weird, but uh, once we go back into our Minecraft world, give me one second, guys. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. See, look how much nicer that looks. It looks so much nicer. Especially the sandstone. Like, look at the sandstone. Hold on. Like, how could you not like the way that looks? That looks awesome. All right, you know what? This is our texture pack. We're going to use this texture pack from now on. I just prefer this texture pack so much more. It looks so much better than any texture pack that I've ever used in the history of Minecraft. I don't really care if it's an outdated um, texture pack. Like, 
that it's not going to get the Minecraft updates. I'm 100% fine with that. I probably won't use half the stuff in the new Minecraft updates anyways. So. Oh. Oh, that could have been bad. We're going to go around. We're going to turn around the other way. And you guys can kind of see a little bit better in the dark with this texture pack. And there isn't as much frame rate either. So that's good. So we're going to go ahead and take... Uh, we're probably going to stay here until this shovel breaks. And then we're going to take all the, uh, uh, the sandstone that we possibly can. And then we'll return to the house. And uh, we'll probably end up coming back here soon for more glass anyways. But... Now I kind of feel like I need to change my plans up slightly because I did want to adventure and everything in this episode, but uh, the more that I think about it, the, the more I realize we have a lot of stuff to do on the house. This isn't just going to be like a house building series, obviously, like we're going to be doing extra stuff, but since, you know, the world's new and I don't really have a place to live in the world... That's all I really want to do is I just want to get a, a world, like I just want to get a house built, even though our house is like six times bigger than it actually should be. Um, I I just enjoy building; it's a lot of fun, especially if you're good at it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and oh, our shovel broke. All right, I said that we were gonna leave once our shovel breaks. We'll go ahead and take this. Um, this portion of the sandstone and then we'll return home and we'll go to sleep and then from there we'll continue on for a couple of more minutes guys and then the episode will end so look at how much nicer this texture pack is it's so much more smooth too than that last texture pack like that last texture pack was good it just it wasn't as i just like this texture pack more i think it looks better And we have a partial obsidian generator, so the house is back this way, I believe. Um, hopefully, we don't get lost. That pig, pigs are still there. See, I, I wasn't kidding when I said we live in a birch forest, by the way. Up, oh, found the house. Home sweet home. See, everything looks nicer. Like, look at the obsidian. Look at the the flowers, the chests, the wheat. Even the re like uh, resources look better too. Like um, iron and gold. Like they like they have like a shimmer. Uh, you know, mutton, which is you know the stuff you get from sheep. It looks so much nicer. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the furnace. I don't know why there's a layer of cobblestone up there, but. Nope, we're going to take that out, actually, and put a whole 64 in. A whole 64. And a whole 64. So hopefully we'll get some gold soon. We're going to go ahead and go to sleep. Look, look how much nicer the wood looks. Oh my gosh, I missed this texture pack. This is an amazing texture pack. See, like, this dark wood looks so much nicer than the regular wood, though. I think they both look good, though. The only wood that has never really looked good in any Minecraft texture pack is, uh, the birch, which is all these trees. Glass looks better. It's just everything is better about this texture pack. Everything. So, wait, what? Oh. Okay, that explains a lot. Put that there, you there, you there, and you there. And then we're going to go down into the mine real quick. Actually, hold on one. Okay, I thought I picked up more than that.
I guess we're gonna go ahead and go around and pick all of these because they're not gonna grow any taller. I still need to build my nether portal as well. We have a lot of stuff to do in this in this world, but we'll get it done eventually. Uh, I need a diamond pickaxe to actually mine that up. Uh, we need to finish the nether portal as well. Got a long ways to go, especially since I haven't even found diamond yet. See, building a castle in this texture pack would just be awesome like because you don't even have to use like smooth stone or stone bricks or anything you could use cobblestone because cobblestone kind of looks like cracked brick and it just looks so cool so pretty much all these mines are basically failures because of all the lava that is all over this area of the map like i picked probably the best slash worst area to actually start wait what am i grabbing oh diorite I picked probably the best and worst area to start a house and start up like everything because of all the lava it's just a pain for mining like look at the torches so much better but hopefully we can find something if we can find diamond like right now that would be awesome but I don't think we're going to um, there is a there are a couple of caves that I want to go exploring soon that are around this area uh, and we will go exploring soon as well. Um, there's just some stuff that we need to do first, like finish the house, for example, because that's a project that we started already, and I just don't want to abandon it. Because um, if I don't finish it now, then we'll be at it for for a long time. Like we've been at it since pretty much the start of this Minecraft series, but at least we're almost finished. And I hear lava getting closer, so we might run into a problem here in just a minute. Do you guys have any mining techniques that you like that is, I don't know, good for getting diamond and stuff like that? Then uh, share them in the comment section so I can get some diamond. I'd, I'd rather, like, like I said, I don't want to spawn stuff, even though spawning stuff is a lot more easy and sometimes a lot more fun because you don't have to go searching for it. But it's like once you spawn diamond, for example, it's like what's the point in going and mining for it? Because I like diamond mining, but it's it's just a long, lengthy process that isn't the f most fun. Like mining, like adventuring for diamond is fun, but just mining for diamond, like we are right now, it's not the most fun thing to do. But I've I've found that strip mining at bedrock is sometimes the most efficient way to get diamond. Like on the Xbox version, at least, you always get diamond when you strip mine on on bedrock. <clears throat> Well, there's, uh, that's granite. So I guess he stopped updating it recently, cause that's still that's quite like the the granite is still here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mine to our left, I think, cause we might have already. Yep, here's the tunnel. And I don't know how much farther this tunnel actually went. This tunnel went pretty. We'll try to meet up with. We'll try to link up with that tunnel. Um before we end the video. But, uh, before we end the video, guys, I just want to thank you very much to everybody who watches. Uh, I appreciate all of you. It means a lot. Uh, it would also mean a lot, mean a lot if you could leave a like on the video, it really helps the channel out, guys. If you could subscribe to the channel, that helps us out even more. And uh, finally, I hope you all had a wonderful day. I appreciate you all for taking a couple of minutes out of your day to watch and enjoy my video. It means a lot. So I think we're going to go ahead and end it here after we finish mining all this coal. We'll probably strip mine in the next video because I kind of want to get some diamond or at least try and get some diamond. So... That's it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go play some League of Legends. Maybe record. I'm not entirely sure. But thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's been Akas, guys. Later.